Pump, 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 Squadron 42, I held the lines. Guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, we'll have um, a little chat about Citizen Con. And has that been a success or a failure? I'll share my opinion regarding this. I'll give some advice for people that are watching this for the first time and considering playing Star Citizen or not. Is it worth it? That's up to you to decide. I'll just provide my take based on my time involved with this project, playing this game, supporting and backing this for a while now, promoting it like I'm doing right now in this video, but in a very much non-shill manner, which is quite rare these days. There's only a handful of people that are honest and upfront about what this is and what it is not. And as always, if you appreciate my honesty by the end of the video and you want to subscribe to the channel, more than welcome. Suggestions, more than welcome there in the comments below. And heck, if you want to play Star Citizen after watching this, that's the decision you made, you can actually go do that right now, taking advantage of the promotion that is still holding. 25% discount. Uh, I think it's the last day that we have for this thing. Uh, so you go here in the Play Store in RobertSpaceIndustries.com and my advice is go and do this. Go to Game Packages, avoid all of the crap that you should not be even considering, such as this No Man's Citizen Comp. No, this is not a good idea. Go for this one. I think it's 45, 50 bucks depending on where you are. The price will probably change. But for 50 bucks or so, you get yourself the... Drake Cutter, which is at a 25% discount. It's a very decent little ship. I have videos on how to make money with this little thing here. And you have the uh, extra goldish green paint when you want to use that. And you don't have uh, to spend anything in terms of subscription, which sometimes you do have in online gaming. But that would be my advice. And remember, if you end up doing this before you, when you create your account and you log into your account, use your referral code. You have my referral code there below in the description of this video. And using the referral code, you will get a free ship. You will get the Hoover Quad, which is a, like, a little bike that you get for free permanent hangar. It stays there forever. You never lose it. And it's considered a ship, which has some advantages. We'll get to that in a minute. But before that, I want you to have all the information so as to make a uh, wise decision in terms of, do you want to get involved with this or not? Well, a few things. First of all, I'm no hater. I've done content promoting and criticizing uh, Star Citizen before. Some people think that makes you a hater. I mean, I understand there's a lot, lots of children watching this. I mean, it is a video game, so of course. There's a lot of, I wonder sometimes, do these adults have, like, jobs, families? Are they... Are, are they husbands? Do they have kids? Because I have a hard time believing that a grown-ass man thinks that you're a hater because you point out a few things in a video game that are worth criticizing, which is part of having any kind of critical thinking, which would be my case. I, I don't hate anything. Uh, I just, uh, I would honestly like to see more being done uh, with the amount of support from the great community that they have backing them financially with their time, with their energy, instead of what we get. So, I talked before about how um, this could have been a, a much greater success if they had done more with the time and with the money that they've had. And I think that this is a good moment to assess where we are right now. We were just seeing this. This is from Squadron 42, right? The famous game that you're backing, often without your knowledge. Let me make this absolutely clear for those of you guys that are new here. And yes, this is all written somewhere that you clicked without even reading, but Understand that the money you're giving them, if you're buying a game package, if you're buying ships, even if you spend $1,000 on Star Citizen, you're not buying the game that is being produced with your money. No. Once they finally release Squadron 42, you will have to go and buy it again. This is maybe one of the most despicable aspects of CIG as a company. 
they are so brutal in their marketing and sales strategies that they do things that are quite despicable because a lot of people think that when the game releases, hey, I gave you 500 fucking dollars. What do you mean I have to buy the game yet again? Yeah, you're not giving them money for Star Citizen. You're giving them money for Squadron 42. When Squadron 42 releases, you will still not have Squadron 42. You will have to buy it all over again. Uh, so, again, fair warning, know what you're getting into. But going back to this thing, has CitizenCon been a success or a failure? I will have to say it's been a failure because there's really nothing new here. We're just being shown more stuff that we actually don't get. Holding the line. It's a new trailer about Squadron 42. Okay, nice. I mean, it's great. They say that it's feature complete. What the hell does that even mean? Did they have to polish? I mean, it's not going to be a year. If it had been a year, they would have said. 12 months from now, launch, release date, something solid. No, they don't give you that because they don't know when this will be out. It is just a fucking trailer. And being honest about the trailer, it is really a trailer that focuses mostly on combat. It's ship combat, FPS, puzzle solving, moving stuff around. There is no content regarding uh, going into cities and interacting with NPCs and role-playing elements and substance to stories and side quests. No, it's very much like a, an action kind of game. At least that's what I get from the trailer. There's nothing here that gives me a lot of uh, um, expectation and excitement about, oh, Squadron 42 is looking awesome. I mean, it's a single-player campaign. That is basically a little bit of combat. That's all I see, a little bit of puzzle solving. And a lot of this seems to have been quickly pushed together specifically for the trailer, all right? So I have huge doubts that we will get this thing in a year or two. Personally, I'm not interested in buying it. You may be different. Your case, by all means, do whatever you want. But my point is this is a failure because we are just being shown the same thing time and again. This is basically recycling from previous citizen cons, the previous one and years before. I mean, this is fucking sandworm all over again, which sometimes consider that like a, a meme. Well, it's not really a meme. That was something that was shown. That was teased years ago. And it is still not here. You're not headhunters. Yeah, all of these things that they tease, they show, someone did. But this is nowhere near. Uh, this is not here. Yeah, here looks nice. Here looks very nice, cool. That's fantastic. Can I do this right now? Can I change? No, no. I, I still get turned into a black guy after going to prison, which is something that some of the HR people uh, in in <laughs> in CIG should really look into. Uh, but we are just shown more stuff. Uh, bases. The, I mean, this is this is from Orison, but y you know where I'm going. We're just shown stuff that we've been shown before and it's nowhere near uh, near a point to, to where they will deliver it. They showed the new Moby glass before. Years ago, they've been showing new Moby glasses. Has it been implemented? Have we seen any of that? No. So this is a failure because nothing, nothing significant has been released. Nothing, th nothing significant had been shown for us to enjoy now. Some people, some of the more white nighty, you know, high on hopium, they were talking about, oh, they will launch Pyro on, on CitizenCon. Or some were saying, oh, no, they will launch a Squadron 42 on Citizen. Some of the more moderate ones were saying, uh, no, they will give us a release date of Squadron 42 on CitizenCon. A release date on Squadron 42 on CitizenCon, that could have been a win. That could have been a, a win. Oh, water looks nice. Can I do this now? No, water looks like shit right now. Uh, here again. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing over and over. And, and here is where you have to admit that uh, the company mostly focuses on ship sales. It's the only thing they do is ship sale, make money, ship sale again, promoting, and now it's going to be what? Selling you land? Which, by the way, if this is something that you're excited about, dude, you're playing the wrong game. Go play Starfield. All of this has been robbed. This has been all copy-pasted from Starfield. Starfield is not like, um, you know, like... Um, uh, like uh, No Man's Sky, where base building can be kind of 
jarring and uh, very complex. No, in in Starfield, you just drop these modules like these ones. You drop them right. I mean, the, the mining thing, you just drop it like that and starts mining. These modules, you just make them and you can customize them on the inside and furniture. It is fantastic. If this is something that excites you, you definitely should go check uh, Starfield, which offers this and it persists it doesn't go away oh but it's not a multiplayer well you will see multiplayer in starfield before you see pyro my friend don't have any doubt about that at this pace of course it would be surprising if you don't and it is enjoyable it is fun the npcs can be placed in there they talk to you and you go to your cities and you have uh, quests and stories and there's so much uh, storytelling there's so much content so much conversations and dialogue to engage you in this again this is just flashbacks from the last base i built in 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 a forest in star city in starfield it is exactly like this so and this brings me this is a great segue for oh oh you were so wrong about starfield uh, putting a was I wrong? Really? Was I all that wrong? I mean, obviously, they are doing this because of Starfield. They're rushing this into some kind of, yeah, selling you land for 200 bucks a, a, a pop or whatever it is for you to build a base. And I don't know if they, they will have, like, some kind of subscription. They were selling, like, you having to pay, like, monthly or with certain regularity. If not, you lose the protection and you... I don't know. It's going to be about money. It's going to be about taking as much money out of you as possible. And how far they push that or not, who will know. But I will also tell you one more thing. They were quite desperate when they started selling the FHC Lightning. The FHC Lightning was supposed to be a, a grail ship. It was supposed to be a unicorn ship that only those that gave them a $10,000 was what got you the FHC Lightning. And yet, in spite of the people that gave them $10,000, they betrayed their trust and started selling it now for 300 bucks a pop. And not only that, not only did they betray their most loyal, most fervent supporters and backers, they betrayed the people that even bought the, F the Lightning right now, because now, as of this moment, in the PTU, the Lightning is being nerfed to the ground, as they always do when they release something, because you cannot have all ships flying around being OP, you have to nerf them to the ground just to make all things equal, and people will be pissed. They will be pissed because they lost their unicorn ship, they will be pissed because the ship they just bought now has been nerfed. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Guys, Citizen Con has been a failure because nothing worth it was delivered. In Citizen Con, we only got more promises as we always do. That has not changed. You will not see any of this by the end of this year, by next year. It will be all just little drops in a bucket. Maybe you will get the new Moby Glass. Maybe you will get the hair. Maybe, uh, what is the gun? Guns now have been changed a little bit. It's always just a little bit of a drop because money, it's apparently going into who knows what, but definitely not in producing and developing and pushing this forward that much I can tell you because it is what we see with our very own eyes. If you love this, yeah, probably, um, yeah, Starfield is probably going to be your, your most enjoyable. And I have to do yet another video explaining how Starfield has been handed a poor hand in terms of people doing reviews about it and haven't even played that thing. It is fantastic. If you're if you're interested in a space game like what we hope Star, Star Citizen would one bit day be, you seriously, I'm not even kidding, give Star, 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 uh, Starfield a shot because it is what so many of us hoped uh, for Star Citizen minus a few key things that still make it worth it for some of us going back and revisiting every once in a, in a while, and I will end the video with that. Guys, don't listen to the shills, be honest with yourself, be honest with, with, with your subscribers, with your followers and your channels. You know, that's what I try to do here, right? I've just mentioned a bunch of things that are negative about Star Citizen, just like I mentioned things that I do like about Star Citizen, and I, seriously, if you wanna give it a shot, this is still very much the best shot it will go away, and yeah, it will be a little bit more expensive. If you want to save like 20 bucks, I know, uh, yeah, the price is here. 
72 bucks so yeah you save like 20 bucks if you buy it now and especially using the referral code you get the free extra ship that is worth 30 bucks uh, which is at the end of the day 50 bucks that you don't have to spend in getting the same things so yeah take advantage of the promotion if in spite of everything i've just disclosed you still feel like yeah man i don't know I still like this thing, I think it's awesome, the way in which you fly the ships, the atmospheric flight, the physics of all of it. You you don't have that in in, in Starfield, that's very much true. You don't have the, you know, the, the mechanics of interacting with the physics and the you know, lack of loading screens and, and stuff. Loading screens are one of the most ridiculously points against Starfield because it's like, fucking two seconds or three and you just jump on things when you want when you don't want to waste time doing other things so I don't feel really as bad about that but so much of what you're shown is simply not real guys it will never be real unfortunately over the years this is something we have to accept and it looks cool but it is just that it is called marketing it's marketing it's called chip sales and yeah you have to learn to not get upset about any of this. You have to learn to say, you know what, uh, I like my, my my flying around, the atmospheric thing, the Gladius is a very nice ship, by the way. Yeah, that's definitely the case. But as of right now, 321, that's the reality. 321 is what you have for real. Everything else is the bullshit talk. Go check 321. Do you like that? Do you enjoy that? Dude. Have all the fun in the world. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing just this. Starfield, I mean, when I have the time for it, Starfield. And lately, because of 321, 321. In a few more weeks, you know, will I be back here? Well, probably not, unless something new is released. Uh, why would I be here a few weeks from now in 321 if it's the same as always? And yet, if eventually at some point something new pops up and I see it's there in the floating in the radar, I'll be back at it, okay? If you appreciate my honesty, my take on these things, subscribe to the channel, use a referral if you're thinking of playing Star Citizen. See you next time. Take care.